70 minutes. Today, but now we're going to actually leave this theme park behind entirely and check out one of the world's biggest studios. And you guys, we got some awesome sets out there. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. We've got the very best guy. Jensen. And the Johan. They're the best. I love them. Even though Jensen. Owes me five bucks. I think I'm excited to get on the floor, but first, a few safety rules. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Jimmy Fallon. We do have a few safety rules to go over, so let me know. Sudden tram movements, fire effects, and water effects. So you'll want to have your cameras out for those awesome photo ops. Just hang on to them tight because you don't want them to fall out of the tram or get wet. And finally, for your safety and those around you, there's no using of selfie sticks while we're on board today. I hope you're checking out these posters on the left and right hand uh, left and right hand sides of our tram. This is our timeline here. Just a few highlights from Universal's movie history, which got its start in 1915 when a man named Carl Lemley founded the Universal Film and Manufacturing Company and brought it out here to L.A. where we are today. And you guys see this fire station here on our right there? It's not a set. It's a real fire station that we have to have here because we're an actual city here at Universal City. We have our own zip code, fire station. There's even a DMV on the lot for a while. It's called the strangest city in the world because it's a little strange that we make movies and television out here. And we're going to show you just how we can do that starting with the front lot. You're going to see a lot of large sound stages. These are soundproof buildings that give filmmakers control over the lighting and sound inside. The first one's coming up on our left as we round this corner. It's home to NBC's The Voice, hosted by Carson Daly. Hi everybody, I'm Carson Daly from NBC's The Voice. I want to welcome you to the Universal Front Lot. Our show is filmed on stage 12. It happens to be the largest soundstage on the Universal Lot. Take a look. And there it is. It's been home to some of the biggest sets in movie history. You can see some of those doors are open there, so try to take a peek if you can. Some of these huge sets were built in stage 12, like Frankenstein's Lab, Dracula's Castle, Scarface's Mansion, and the Visitor's Center from Jurassic Park. We're going to see some more sound stages over here. Now these on your left have been home to some awesome movies like Fast Times at Richmond High and Bruce Almighty. Psych We're expanding our universe out here. And we got stages 17 and 16 coming up on our left. That's just going to be after this alleyway here. That's currently home to NBC's hit comedy so those sound stages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's hot in here, but let's have some patience for one another. Yeah, you know, the heat makes us all act. If your face stays where it is, it's going to get worse. We also have Hollywood Game Night on the lot. Whose name is worth more in Scrabble times? Who's a yellow boat? Oh, look at you can see it's a pretty busy because it has some awesome sets like NASA's Mission Control from Apollo 13, the richest layer on Mount Crumpet from Dr. Sue Soundstage is here on our right, like Who's the Boss, Different Strokes, The Jeffersons, Coach starring Craig T. Nelson who came back years later to these same stages to anybody who's anybody's comes out here on the Universal lot. Now this stage on the right buildings used to be dressing rooms to some of Hollywood's biggest stars like Rock Hudson, Dora. Somebody's here too. She's working on the upcoming Charlie's Angels reboot and Illumination Entertainment. They're responsible for the disillumined on the sign and that's because that bungalow belonged to Alfred Hitchcock. That was his home away from home here on the Universal lot. Incomparable director of thrillers like Psycho, Rear Window, The Birds, and Vertigo. And now those, uh, that bungalow is used by the dealer Rentis Company, who brought Hannibal Lecter to the big and small screen. Left with the windows. They have windows. They built. A, they tacked on offices when they built these pretty recently. That's why they look a little different. And these are dedicated as the Will and Grace sound stages in honor of the revival that films here, starring Deborah Messing. We both to use these stages was Hairspray Live. If you remember the live broadcast on NBC, they run across the street to our exterior metro sets, which are on our right. You get a little peek of it there, and we're gonna get up even closer first across the way there. That is where Jim Carrey's character oh, lived in Bruce Almighty. Take a look. 
Place the dog! I'm in the shower! Inside bad, outside good! Inside bad, outside good! Oh, am I gonna stay? Oh, you're done now. Great. B E A U. Now, I wonder if you guys can guess what set we're gonna check out now based on this. There it is. That's right. This is Hill Valley from Back to the Future. Now, that set there on your left is formerly known as Courthouse Square from the Courthouse into Kill a Mockingbird starring Gregory Peck. But most people recognize it as the Clock Tower. It was actually the. And to show you how quickly we can travel here on the Universal lot, we're in Hill Valley one second. And then five seconds later, four, three, two, one, New York, the next! This is New York Street, everybody. This is the street that is featured in Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw, Idris Elba, Jason Statham, Dwayne Johnson, Vanessa Kirby. We're all out here filming an action scene for the movie, that motorcycle chase scene out here. And even though it's called New York Street in the movie, it was London in the film. They even had Union Jack, my co-host Jimmy Fallon, he knows a, a couple things about New York. That's where he hosts The Tonight Show. So I'll let him tell you what it's like to work out here. What's got mugged over there? An old woman, tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Remember me? You get to sing and dance in that movie. And lots of music videos have also filmed out here on New York Street. Pink's Maybe want to direct movies. I saw that movie on TV when I was about eight or nine years old. Um, I wanted to become a filmmaker. Action! I like films that just take you away from your real life and... When Universal invited me back to Skull Island, and it's great to have you along the huh? ride. What? Now, we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet, just have them in your hand because we're about to return to Skull Island. Thank you, Mr. Peter Jackson. We're going into Skull Island in just about one minute. Make sure you remain seated and hang on to all your belongings while we're inside. You don't need your 3D glasses just yet. You have them very close by. You're going to need them in just one minute. Now, we 
you lost our fifth tram car. As you can see, it got pretty, pretty battered up and bruised there on your right. Yeah, some dinosaurs got to it. Don't worry, no guests were injured, but they were dismissed and sent back to the theme park because clearly they just don't have what it takes to make it out here on this tour. Ties out here and some prehistoric Flintstones vehicles as well. We can't leave out Fast and Furious because that franchise is all about the cars. The gyros here from Jurassic World is pretty cool. But I think my favorite might be this tank on the end from Transformers. It looks pretty heavy duty and intense, right? What if I told you it was made out of plywood? It is! It's made out of plywood. He's, there we go, sitting down. All right. That tank is made out of plywood. It's super lightweight, which makes sense. Filmmakers don't want to spend all their time driving a two-ton tank around on set when they can just pick it up and move it much more quickly. The gyrosphere from Jurassic World is pretty cool. But I think my favorite might be this tank on the end from Transformers. It looks pretty heavy duty and intense, right? What if I told you it was made out of plywood? It is. It's made out of plywood. He's, there we go. Sitting down. All right. That tank is made out of plywood. It's super lightweight, which makes sense. Filmmakers don't want to spend all their time driving a two-ton tank around on set when they can just pick it up and move it much more quickly. Get out of things like plywood about it. Uh, anyway, check out what the mobile lab unit looks like on your screens. And then if you see that flashing, that's a strobe light. It simulates all the time in filmmaking. The sounds you're hearing are just recordings of thunder, and we get to call them sound effects. And would you look at that. It's raining. Now, how are we doing this? Well, I'll tell you. It's my job. We have very tall pipes that shoot water high up into the air. It falls back down to the ground because that's how gravity works, and it looks like rain. Another cool thing about this rain is that we can direct it wherever we need it to go, so the action would all be taking place over there on that road. The tram is where the director would be. The camera, the crew would all be here completely dry, while the action over there is the only thing getting wet. Cool, we get to be in the rain and completely dry. Oh, I spoke too soon, everybody. Incoming! <laughs> too much water. Another cool thing about this screen is that we can direct it wherever we need it to go. So the action would all be taking place over there on that road. The tram is where the director would be. The camera, the crew would all be here. So the action over there is the only thing getting wet. Cool, we get to be in the rain and completely dry. Oh, I spoke too soon, everybody. Incoming! film. Over there on our left you can see a lot of those streets that say hot set. They're prepping for another upcoming feature. Call of the Wild with Harrison Ford is going to be filming out there so they're prepping those sets. Just wow, our sets, our western sets are so popular these days. You can see here they've been uh, 
painting up and touching up some of these sets here. One of the last uh, jobs in set decorating in our Western sets is to add that dirt over the asphalt because, you know, the asphalt is kind of a dead giveaway that it's a modern set. And that's just a reminder that red emergency cord is there if you're having an emergency. Otherwise, hang tight. We'll be back in the theme park in just a little bit. Villagers were running amok, and it most recently was used for the good place. You can even see that good place sign over there in green. It's a little tucked away in the back. Kristen Bell and Ted Danson just finished wrapping up the fun. Make sure you remain seated there. We're not supposed to touch anything, but you know, also remain seated anyway and hang on to all your belongings. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek for those of you in the back. It looks like a subway station in here. And I'm seeing a sign that says, Welcome to San Francisco. So we just went from Europe to San Francisco in about uh, 45 seconds. That's the kind of traveling I like. I don't like sitting in traffic. Can you check it out? Whoa. All right, guys, don't worry. It's just a little earthquake. We get them in California. You get used to it after a while. Oh, this is not little. This could be the big one, guys. Everybody, hang on. Shark. The shark is frustrating. It didn't really work. Well. 
Behind that chicken ranch is a great example of a facade. So facade means false front. And this yellow building that's not a building at all, it's just a, the front wall to nothing, is a facade. Great example, you can see in the back, there's no building. And we're gonna drive by Colonial Street on our left here. They've been uh, prepping for filming out there. Uh, Mindy Kaling's upcoming project, Never Have I Ever, has been filming out there. We've also had NBC sitcom Abby's out there and some great historical properties too. Jimmy Stewart's Harvey House, The Munsters TV show, and uh, the Leave it to Beaver TV movie. It's also known as Wisteria Lane from ABC's Desperate Housewives. Well, Christmas. Oh, these are just a few of the exteriors left from production, which was a big one out here. They took up a left who's. They had to put up with a real Grinch of a neighbor. And they have a lot more to put up with now because they have to put up with a psycho of a neighbor because their neighbor is, is Norman Bates from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Let's check into the Bates Motel, everybody. Here it is. That's Norman. Oh, he looks so upset. I wonder why he's so upset. I think he's kind of cute. You can see that that Norman also lives in that house just on top of that hill. That's where he lives with his mama. He's also a mama's boy. He's so adorable. But that's not. He's carrying a body. Oh my goodness, you guys, just don't make eye contact. Maybe he just won't even notice we're here. We could just, like, mosey on him. You guys have your phones out? Are you kidding me? All right, you brought this on yourselves, you guys. Oh, Norman. Norman, they're sorry. They don't know what they mean. Actually, maybe they do. You know what? Car 4 looked at me funny earlier. <laughs> oh, he does care. Call me, Norman. All right, I know he's... And now we're going to check out one of the most colossal sets of Universal's film history. This is from A War of the Worlds, starring Tom Cruise. Most of the sets we've seen today have been fake, but this plane here on your left is not one of them. That's a real Boeing 747 that they took apart and destroyed, specifically for the making of this movie. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision that Stephen had. And for, again, to sit down and talk about the War of the World, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just so... And now we are 10 minutes to the end of our tour. Hang tight, everybody. We'll be back in the theme park very soon. This is an emergency cord is there if you're having an emergency. Now, Universal has over 400. That's what they did for Clint Eastwood's Sully, starring Tom Hanks. And I'll tell you how they did it. Evacuate. Now that plane, those actors that are hopping out of the plane, and all of that water was right there in front of that big... That's right. Wait, Tom so Hanks? what wasn't there? That's Woody. Pop quiz. Right? The New York City skyline, guys, like and it. the weather. So that in the background is all CGI, which means computer-generated imaging. So after they were finished filming, they replaced the blue from the background with the New York City skyline, and voila, you're looking at the Hudson River. It's a go. I'm the man in charge. The hell you are. Let me clue you in on... I'm going to interrupt this FBI message with another incoming safety video that they're patching through. All right, everybody check your screen. Hey, yo. All right, play it cool, everybody. Play it cool. Hey, guys. Thanks for letting us crash in here. We appreciate your hospitality. We're being chased by criminals. No big deal. Oh wow, girl, those shoes are so tall. How are you even dancing in those? Oh man. Hey, there's no need to shut the whole party down. We're here to party down. Oh, this is not working out for us. We're gonna need some backup. Where's this Roman guy? This is what we're doing. This is the race day after party. And the, where, where are the... 
Roman Pierce. Roman Pierce. FBI. Don't move. Bill? That's right. Party's over. You know how long I took the iron and shirt, man? I'm, I'm not. You're under arrest right now. Hey, just, just back up a little bit. I got it. It's lightweight. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Cop, I suggest you clear out of here, otherwise we can't guarantee your safety. Guarantee my safety? I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. Um, escort this novice out. Let's go, cookie boss. That ugly suit on, man. It's cheap. Somebody out there really pissed off shop. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm in the middle of the night. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Man. It was on vibrate. Sure, I traced us. Hot cat old forever. Buddy, Roman, we're up. <sighs> Driver, move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. Mona Lisa's all warmed up right next door. Roman, grab your truck. I need you and Lenny ready to roll. Oh boy, guys, it's about that time. Get those 3D glasses on and ready. It is going to be a fast and furious ride.